What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Natto and this is going to be a huge, huge pickup video for today. As you guys can see, I did get the Nike Sakai LD Waffle black in hand. I was able to pick it up yesterday for my reservation on the Nike Sneakers Pass up in New York City for pickup at 21 Mercer, the Nike Lab Store in New York City. So I was so happy to get my hands on these. I, I still can't believe I got them. You know, the sneakers pass is always a toss up, but I was able to get lucky on this pair right here, the black Nike Sakai LD waffle. So with that being said, of course, now that I have them in hand, I'm gonna get you guys a full review and on feet of this sneaker right here. So I'm so excited to dive into it. We just need to get right into it. But before we do, I do wanna lay out what's gonna happen in this video. So like always, I'm gonna show you guys the sneaker up close, the black Nike Sakai LD waffle, and then I'll give you guys an on feet look at the shoe with a couple different styling options. And then finally, I will give you my opinion on this sneaker as a whole from Nike, number one, how good is this shoe overall? And number two, is this a worthwhile purchase to make on the resale market if you cannot get it at retail price? The Sakai Nike line has been one of the most talked about sneakers of this entire year, definitely up there for sneaker of the year. So is this a worthwhile purchase to pick up on the resale market? So with all of that in mind, let's just jump right into this video of the Sakai Nike LD Waffle in black. All right, so like I said, I am still amazed that I could get this sneaker in hand and a little bit early. I was pretty you know, surprised that they did drop these on the sneakers pass so early. The pickup was yesterday, so it was September 5th, and the actual release date for this shoe is September 12th. They did get loaded on the Nike sneakers app as a draw along with the other two colorways of this next pack. So definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these next three sneakers and how they compare to the original two. But now just going over these kind of as an overview, they are very, very similar to the other original two colorways of the LD Waffle from the Nike Sakai pack. So of course you get the double laces, you get the double tongue, See Nike Sportswear on the first one and then Nike Sakai on the second one. You got that on both ones right there. The quality of the materials is pretty solid. It's a, it's a nice quality on the black here. You guys can really take a look that the, the mesh is very see-through. So keep that in mind. I was a little surprised with my blue pair that I had before. And you know, these ones are just the same. The mesh is very see-through. The back of the shoe is actually one of the most talked about things and you know the thing I get questioned about the most it really does extend pretty far beyond the back of the shoe so definitely keep that in mind and it's just the same as the other pairs as well you know you can really see that it, it's very thick and does go out pretty far I still think it looks really good but a lot of people are turned away from that we do see the Nike Sakai branding on the back of both shoes as well and all the materials continuing to be the same that double swoosh overlaid on the mesh so very, very simple, very clean, just black and white, as well as some silver kind of gray all around the shoe. If we turn to the inner a little bit as well, we could see you know the double laid midsole right there on top of each other. The inner swooshes are the same as the outer, the mesh as well. And then on the insole, we can see it's actually written in orange, the Nike and Sakai branding on that gray insole. There is an extra set of gray laces that comes with the shoe. Then if we take a look at the outsole, it's the same outsole as the previous LD Waffle, that LD Waffle outsole and the US patent number right there in the middle. And now with these final closing shots of the shoe from the side, you really can see the white and black swooshes, the white and black laces, and a little bit of orange on the tongue. And the final piece of traction on the very tip of the toe as well, all leading around to those upper materials and the mesh. So now that we've gotten a full look at the shoe up close, I'm going to get them laced up and I will show you what they look like on feet.
All right, so now there we have it, the Nike Sakai LD Waffle in black on feet. So I thought they looked really good. I'm so happy with the shoe, if you guys can't tell already. So now for the end of this video here, I just wanna give you my opinions and final review of this shoe. I'm gonna give you guys a couple ratings out of 10 and let you know my final opinions. So number one, if we start at retail price, how good is this shoe from Nike for retail price? That is what I was able to get it for a little bit early on the sneakers pass that they did on September 5th for the pickup. So if we start at the retail price of 160 bucks, Perfect, I really don't have any issues with that. For this type of collab, not bad at all in my eyes. The overall makeup of the shoe and construction, materials, pretty solid. Not mad at that at all either. I, you know, I love the previous uh, two colorways that they put out, and this one is just the same. I, I think I probably like the blue color, the original blue color the best, and these fall somewhere behind it, but not quite as good as blue, but still very solid all around. Just a straight up black and white colorway, you really can't go wrong. So overall, with all things considered, you know, the collab, the story, materials, box, all that being said, I'm giving this a nine out of 10. This is an amazing shoe at retail price and I think Nike did a really good job. At least in my opinion, this is up there. The LD Waffle from Nike and Sakai is up there for the sneaker of the year. So at the end of the year, we can look back and figure that out. But overall, nine out of 10 at retail price. If we shift the lens now and take a look at the resale market, Resale prices are very high right now because there's not many of these available on the market as there's only a handful of pairs out there. Like I said, the sneakers pass was a little bit of an early drop. They do release again on September 12th for that same retail price of 160 bucks, at the very least on the sneakers app, as well as should be other top tier boutiques that got previous Nike Sakai shoes in the past. But with that being said, prices, they're all over the place. They're you know as low as maybe six, 700, but as high as over a thousand. So they're all over the place. And in my opinion, I would not buy them on the resale market right now. I would definitely wait to try to get them at retail on the actual release on the 12th. And then prices should drop way lower than where they're at currently um, at the very least. So I would hold off on buying now. If you're looking to buy now, I, my opinion out of 10, I'm gonna give that a rating just because we're here and I may as well. I'm gonna give that honestly like a six out of 10. Like I said, I would not buy the, on the resale market right now. I think prices will go down in the future. With that being said, if prices fall to about where they were for the previous two models, the blue and the green, the original pairs, after the release, they were sitting right around three to 400 bucks. I'm gonna call that the resale price for this video here. Like, let's say if this does hit three or 400 bucks, is that a good price to buy at? In my opinion, that's actually pretty solid. I, I would give that an 8.5 out of 10. It, obviously, it's no 160, it's no retail price, but in my mind, this is such a good shoe, and I'll keep saying it up for sneaker of the year, in my opinion, that that is a fair enough price to pay. I wouldn't pay too much more than that. Anything higher, you know, gets out of my, you know, ballpark of being worth it. So if you can buy at that price, it might be worthwhile. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Uh, you know, I'd love to hear from you and see what your opinions are. Is this a shoe you're going for on the 12th? You know, this specific color or maybe the other colors. There's a white one and another sort of green and pink. So let's keep that conversation going. But if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I will do my best to get those answered. So I think that does wrap up the video here for the black Sakai Nike LD Waffle. Overall, amazing shoe. So happy to have it. Still pretty, <laughs> pretty amazed that I got it on the sneakers pass. But, you know, we all get lucky a little bit sometimes. So that's where we're at. That does wrap up the video. So thank you guys again for watching. I really do appreciate it. You keep the channel going and I will see you guys on the next video.